Welcome back. You're still watching Metrophile on Channels Television. And finally, on the program today, she was loved by many, described as compassionate, trustworthy, and a philanthropist. The late Mrs. Elizabeth Esohe Odubeson died at the age of 67, and family and friends gathered to bid her farewell. <music> It's a gathering of family, friends and associates of the Odubeson family to pay their last respect to the late Mrs. Elizabeth Odubeson at the wakekeep service. Church of Divine Mercy, Admiralty Way, Lekki, Lagos, take turns to offer prayers for the family of Mrs. Utubesson. Dear fathers, dear relatives, the family members of Mrs. Utubesson, and all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, in the Lord, peace be with you. We gather this evening to pray for our dear friend and sister, Mrs. Elizabeth, a son of a person. We also have to pray for our relations and friends, for the relations and friends that she, she left behind. By resurrection from the dead, O oh Christ, death no longer has dominion over those who die in holiness. So we beseech you, give rest to your servant, your sanctuary, and in Abraham's bosom. The first Bible reading is taken by the first son of the late Mrs. Odubeson, Adewale Odubeson. For though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in furnace, he tried them. And like sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples of the and rule over peoples and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand the truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones, and he watches over his elect. This is the word of the Lord. Reverend Father Philip Sosumobi shares the sermon with emphasis on living a purpose-driven life. I would like to bring to our attention that the only reason why we gather here is because Jesus is the author of life. Much more than just coming to give last respect. Much more than just coming to greet the family members and to tell them sorry. It's the fact that we have gathered because God is the altar of life and is the giver of life. He gives life and when God has called us himself, he wants us to acknowledge his presence in our lives. So this gathering will not be complete if we do not acknowledge the reason why we are here, who is the altar of all life. And that is why Jesus says today, I'm the restoration and the life. No one lives to himself alone, and no one dies to himself alone. If we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. And then an array of tributes. It is with heavy heart that we, the class of 69 of our ladies high school at home, for re Delta State, write this together. The soccer was so caring, loving, 
inspiring and true. He was agile, full of warmth and laughter. That her presence always brought sunlight to any gathering. We will forever remember her for her humble nature, calming smiles, and her kind heartedness. She was a cherished member of the church, very loving, supporting, and kind to everyone. I know that uh, the three places she lived with her SNT as well, husband and wife, is at, at uh, the Vitometer in Solo. And Lekki, neighbors, and everyone around can testify to her friendliness, to her wholesomeness, and all that she did for them. Eso was not my sister in law, Eso was my sister. And my youngest sister mentioned something the other day about the fact that their house was always home for us. Each time I visited Lagos, I stayed with her, whether my brother was there or not. Even after my brother passed away, I still stayed with her. Partly because I knew she would keep me up to date with what is happening in Lagos, and I would eat really good food. She was a very, very, very major part of the Odubeza family. The burial ceremony continues with a solemn funeral mass for the late Mrs. Elizabeth Odubeson, who died on September the 9th, 2023, after a brief illness. Fondly called Esso, the late Mrs. Odubeson, who was born on June the 14th, 1956, was identified as a devout Catholic and a generous soul. To the end of her years, she was known to live a life of faithfulness and commitment to Christ. You may be pursuing anything. You may even become president of Nigeria, president of West Africa, president of Africa, president of the world. You may become the greatest scientist in the world, the best lawyer in the world, the best medical doctor in the world. The fact is that one day we will meet this world. What happens after that? Where will your soul? Where will my soul be five minutes after we bring Alas? As we reflect on the life of our sister, our sister is telling us, this is my gift to you. Think while you still have the time. Described as a pillar of warmth and strength who extended her love and care to everyone around her, the late 67-year-old was laid to rest in a private ceremony where the final burial rites were performed, leaving behind three sons, Wale, Dotun, and Funsho Odubeso. <laughs> To say um, I was her favorite, right? <laughs> my brothers might disagree, but um, we had a very, I was, you know, I'm the first, so we had a very, very unique, close bond. Um, uh, never, you know, we'd, we'd fight, we fight, but we, nobody comes in between us when we fight. They leave us because we always settle ourselves. She was my best friend. She molded me to the man I am today. She guided me, she nurtured me. I could do no wrong in her eyes, so she gave me peace. Although her passing was unexpected and shocking to all who knew her, they take solace in the fact that she left them with a legacy to live on and sweet memories to hold on to.
We pray her gentle soul continues to rest in peace. And of course, her thoughts and prayers are with the family she left behind. And on that note, we end Metro File for today. Thank you so much for watching. You know it's never goodbye because you can always watch past editions of the program. Very simple. Just go to youtube.com forward slash channels web, click on playlist, then go to Metro File and enjoy your weekend with it. I'll definitely see you again very soon next month. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Thank you for watching.